Welcome to the Bratislava, city where I live, where I was born, and city where we close nightclubs at 10 p.m. I really don't want to talk about this new issue, but 10 p.m. Are you fuck? Politicians in this city think that graffiti is such a big problem and they want to fight against illegal graffiti. Actually, they've already started with grey graffiti protective color. Fortunately, they haven't started in the historical city center of the city, they've started from the bottom. As a part of graffiti community, I have to admit that illegal graffiti really doesn't belong to historical city center. But as I said before, they haven't started it over there, they started under the bridge. This is new bridge, he's not new, it's just his name. They applied this anti-graffiti grey color to the upper part of the bridge and I have to say that it looks good. The purpose of this awesome grey color is that it is easier to buff tags from this material or whatever it is. This bridge is one of the most famous things in this city and he really deserves to look good. And now it looks much better without all these posters, tags and stuff like that. But they want to fight against illegal graffiti. And this is not an effective way. Mm -mm, I don't like it because I think that's not appropriate place for graffiti. But right now we are under the bridge and places like this are typical for graffiti. Few years ago there was a graffiti jam over here and all these walls were covered with beautiful graffiti. Today we have just these grey walls. Unfortunately, they didn't destroy all these pieces. So yes, this part of the bridge looks much better right now. I think that this is not a long-term way how to keep it clean. And these walls behind me? I would say that it looks boring and sad. What do you think? What looks better? Grey wall? or beautiful legal wall. You know that the new bridge is something like a historical monument in this city and it is obvious that they try to keep it clean and it's nice that we can still find some awesome graffiti over there. It's something like a compromise but as you can see it's not gonna work because there are still graffiti writers who doesn't respect something like a historical monument or history. My personal opinion, guys who are able to do something like this, guys who destroy historical things, are idiots. Maybe sometimes it doesn't look like that, but I love illegal graffiti. I just hate it when somebody do it at really inappropriate places. But this place where I'm here right now is definitely not a historical monument. This is another bridge, but this one is definitely not in the city center. This is a highway bridge. And as you can see, they apply this grey, awesome thing also over here. By the way, that great anti-graffiti color is so expensive. This place over here used to be the first legal graffiti zone here in Bratislava many, many years ago. And just a few months ago, you could find so many old school awesome graffiti pieces over here. And right now, grey on grey, motherfucker. It looks like a gaming model without texture. Just look at these sad walls. At least they didn't use it for this spot. Just look at that big, huge wall. What a great legal area it could be. Graffiti community wants to make it real for a very long time. But instead of legal zone, we got this awesome, great thing. We spent thousands and thousands of euros to create this great wonderland. And do you think that it's gonna work? Come on! Bridge without graffiti? That's like Germany without sausages! Wurst! How it 
is even possible that they expect that it's gonna stay clean. It's not gonna stay clean. And instead of beautiful legal graffiti walls, you're gonna get this. There are so many walls over here and it could be something like a street art gallery. This is not a way how to keep these nasty areas nice. They could take all money that they spent for these things and throw them to the trash. Result would be the same. And the conclusion is these guys are trying to make this city looking better. That's good. But unfortunately it is just a waste of time. Because graffiti can't be stopped. It's just waste of money. It is impossible to keep these huge walls clean. Every single time some graffiti writer is gonna go there and he's gonna destroy it. And honestly, do you really think that these grey monuments looks better without graffiti? I don't think so. Everybody know that. I've been to Germany this summer and almost every single underpass bridge is legal over there. Because they know that they can't keep these places clean and city doesn't need to spend anything. They don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars for some gray shit. Many times the question is if legal walls can stop illegal graffiti. And the answer is no, not at all. Because always, every single time, there's going to be a graffiti writer who's going to destroy that clean building. But this is it. This is how graffiti works. This is graffiti culture. I know. That it is sad that some graffiti writers doesn't have respect for history, doesn't have respect for historical buildings, doesn't have respect for new buildings. But this is the world. In every single community, you're gonna find idiots. So, that's it. You can't stop graffiti. It is impossible. And I think that it is good because graffiti, at least for me, it is something like a soul of the cities. I know that sometimes it really doesn't look good but you cannot stop it I know that we have legal walls here in Bratislava and we appreciate it but if we want to make these huge areas with these huge grey walls looking good the only way is to make legal graffiti zone over there maybe one last message for the graffiti community I like illegal graffiti, I like legal graffiti, I like street art, I like all these kinds of art or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I know that we don't want to follow any rules, that we want to protest against system. But sometimes we need to respect the others. So please, next time when you're gonna be in the city doing illegal graffiti, please do not destroy that church for example. It's not cool. That's it! Guys, please let me know in comments below what do you think about this topic. If you would like to buy these graffiti t-shirts, this is limited edition, there are just 10 pieces in my eShop dog.bigcartel.com. Thumbs up for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time!